Hey guys, welcome back. Just a quick video for y'all today because I just want to talk about how to get octagon roofs to join back to the rest of your build. I know it sounds really boring, but if you've ever tried to do any sort of like sunroom or tower, I know this isn't a complete tower, but I just didn't want to deal with the whole build today. Um, getting an octagon around roof to connect back to the rest of the roof can be kind of tricky. So we're going to do a nice big one over here, a smaller one on a diagonal over here. Obviously you'll need to start with placing your octagon roof and making sure that it is the correct size and pulling down the eaves if you so choose. The next thing to do is pitch it however you want it to be. Um, I'm going to start with this one, but just pitching it down about to the same height as the rest of the roof, which you can tell by lining up the eave there. Now what you don't want to do is leave this gap here, this little valley. Um, this is going to make your roof look unfinished, and instead you can take a gabled roof, a hip roof, a half hip roof, basically anything that has a peak, and what you want to do is make the end of the roof, whether that's the eave, like it works here, or not. Um, sometimes you'll have to push this back, but you want it to line up with directly the center of your octagon. Once you have it lined up on this end, you can make sure it lines up with the rest of your roof. And there you go! That is how you would connect a non-diagonal octagon. Alright, now let's talk about the struggle that is octagons on a diagonal. Here we're going to run into an issue where when we line up the roof, the eaves don't quite match. And even if we pull the eaves all the way in, you can see that the roof still doesn't quite line up in pitch. This is because diagonal roofs have to stretch differently due to um, being locked into a grid. So you can either choose to ignore it and finish it off like the rest of your build, or you could try a couple other ways of roofing it and finishing the room. If you're able to make the roof larger, exaggerate it, maybe turn a little garden or pool or something beneath it, you can make the roof large enough to merge into the main roof, and then when you add the diagonal piece, you can just hide those eaves. And that will largely take care of that issue. Now obviously this style may or may not work for your build, so another way you could fix this would be to actually add another room above it, copy the windows and everything, add a little roof piece to cover this gap, and a fresh octagon on top to finish off your tower. And just to show you that this does work with circles as well, behold. I know the diagonal isn't ideal, but what is? Um, when building on a diagonal, it's just really tricky, and this is one of the reasons it's so important to remember to try and plan your build, if possible, around your roof, and to have a few tricks up your sleeve of ways you can actually change your build to make the roofing easier later on. If you're interested in learning more about how to do stuff like that, don't forget to subscribe and follow along for more building and roofing tutorials. Check out the top card for all of the building tutorials I have so far on this channel, and check out the lower card for all of the roofing tutorials I have on this channel. The bean is literally pulling me out of my chair right now, so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!